Hi. Let me tell you about another great Manning book. The Complete Obsolete Guide to Generative AI, written by David Clinton. Welcome to this practical guide on generative AI, covering its applications like data analysis, text summarization, and more. Modern AI tools can mimic human conversation, almost passing the Turing test. However, it's a facade. AI models aren't truly intelligent or self-aware. They're just clever software combined with vast data, creating an illusion of intelligence. AI software uses natural language processing to analyze your input and predict responses based on extensive training, which involves analyzing vast amounts of internet content to identify patterns for generating text. Potential responses are drafted, tested against standards, and iteratively improved until the final response is displayed. For follow-up prompts, the AI considers previous interactions and repeats the process to compose a new response. Large language models, LLMs, learn from text and do tasks like translation, text generation, and question answering. LLMs are the engine for specific AI products. OpenAI's LLM is GPT, while Google's BARD is built on Lambda and Palm 2. OpenAI has seven general-use LLMs, including GPT-3, GPT-3.5, and GPT-4. Specialized tools tap into these LLMs, such as DAL-E for images, Whisper for speech recognition, and Codex for programming assistance. Understanding the usage tokens is also crucial. A token is a unit of language characters, and in the GPT universe, one token is roughly equal to four characters of English text. The maximum token limits and training data cutoff dates vary between model flavors. Model fine-tuning involves further training a pre-trained language model on specific tasks or domains using labeled data or prompts. The goal is to make the model more specialized and capable of generating accurate and contextually relevant responses. This iterative process aims to improve the model's accuracy and contextual understanding. The development of generative AI has been made possible by several key technologies. Advancements in processors, storage, memory, GPUs, and TPUs have made it feasible to train and deploy AI models like GPT. The availability of these resources on cloud platforms, such as Microsoft's Azure, has also accelerated development times. In this book, we will be using various generative AI tools in different ways. This involves exposing your prompts and data resources to online services, which can raise concerns about the collection and use of personal data. It is important to understand how AI collects and uses data, and to only provide necessary and appropriate data. AIs can generate creative, unconventional content, sometimes inventing legal precedents, academic papers, authors, or even fictional universities, However, they lack awareness and might blame you for any confusion. Additionally, AIs can exhibit biases based on their training data, leading to potentially skewed responses on controversial subjects. We will cover customizing text, code, and media content creation to fit your organization's data and specific requirements. Training AI models using your local data or the live internet. Exploring business intelligence and analytics applications for AI. Creating your own AI models. A glimpse into the future of generative AI. Let's dive in. Get this book at manning.com 